We know that we all benefit from honest, clear and caring feedback, even when we don't like what we're hearing, but finding feedback can often be a bit difficult. Feedback helps us get out of our own heads because, let's face it, we spend a lot of time there. And the right feedback at the right time can help you get a new perspective on the problem. In fact, in some cases, it might be impossible to move on without feedback if you can't work through something yourself. So let's talk about how you can work out what kind of feedback you need and how you can go about getting it. First, work out what your biggest problem, issue or concern is right now. For example, if you need to sort out your times tables because you're no longer in year three and not knowing them is holding you back, then that's a pretty big problem and some feedback could help you solve it. Once you know what the problem is, work out who can help. So if you need maths help, then head to your maths teacher or a tutor, for example. You also need to work out when to ask. So 9am on a Monday morning is probably not a good time for your maths teacher. If they're busy, send them an email or come back later. When you do get to chat, a feedback template could help make the conversation easier. And don't forget to follow up, so they know you appreciate their time. The only thing left now is to put it into action.